Hi Scorpio, welcome to your December 2017 love reading. It's Raina here and I'm shuffling the cards and as I am shuffling the cards, I just wanted to make you aware that in November and December of 2017, I have 20% off of all of my readings and um, you can put in the coupon code Jupiter to receive this discount. And yeah, first time I've done something like this. Okay. <laughs> Always like wondering if that's enough. But you know, it's funny that you keep picking the same card sometimes, regardless. <laughs> Speaking of, exactly what I'm talking about. You know, it's funny, this tower card, uh, right before I put the, the, you know, turned on the camera, that tower card was the card that I saw. And then when I put all these cards out, what showed up but the tower. So, oh, and you know what? And I, I think this is the third reading that has the magician as the last card, which I really like. Let me just take one second to gussy up this pile here because I don't want to have it all messy. Okay. <clears throat> so, the heart of the matter in your love life for December. Six of Pentacles. Now, if you look at this person, this person looks like they are well-to-do. This Morgan Greer deck is a little bit different in that it doesn't really show how wealthy this person is. And the people who are receiving don't necessarily seem like they're that destitute. But it really is sometimes about giving and receiving. And sometimes about being the one who has the resources to give or being the one that is in a position to accept. But this is a love reading. This is not a general reading or career reading. So this has to apply to your love life. And um, there are different possibilities. And the biggest one, because I look at the past uh, position to give me more information, is that pesky justice card again, where it's talking about, no, well, you know, actually, it's not that pesky of a, of a card, because it could have more than one meaning. I was thinking of divorce, because I just did Sagittarius, <clears throat> and it definitely seemed like divorce for Sagittarius. <clears throat> but I think for you, it has to do with fairness, first and foremost. And the Six of Pentacles is about give and take. The Justice card may have made you, Scorpio, aware of how your relationship is not on equal footing. Perhaps you feel like you're giving and giving and you're not getting back. Now, I always preface saying something like that with letting you know that I personally do not like the idea of tit for tat, where people say, well, I did this and you should do that. And that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about when it's very lopsided. And even in, in some cases, uh, relationships are very lopsided. If, if one person is very ill, the other person is going to pick up the slack in all areas of life. And they may do so gladly because they love that person. So again, of course there are special circumstances. But you and I both know what I'm talking about when I'm talking about imbalances in relationships. And 
um, what has happened as a result of this is that you are being left with a feeling of dissatisfaction. And this could actually be bordering on indifference. Because if somebody's dissatisfied with their relationship, it doesn't mean that they want it to be over with. They're just unhappy. And they think it's not fair. They think that the other person isn't um, doesn't care about them as much as they care about that person. But they still want the relationship to work. Well, you may have gotten so disgusted that you don't even care anymore. And see, you see the clouds offering a cup to this person, and the person is just kind of staring through it. And that's supposed to indicate that, it, in some cases, it can indicate somebody who is actually, um, what's that word, in, in ungrateful. They're, they're getting something, but it's not what they want, so they're not grateful for it. But what I would say with that card is perhaps the other person is realizing the error of their ways, but it's almost like too late. And so even though they are trying to make it up to you, you're too far gone. The higher message is the tower card. So this is the spiritual message. And as a spiritual message, this may not mean that anything traumatic or dramatic is going to happen to you. This could be a revelation that you have. It's like that aha moment about what really is going on within your relationship. And what I would say, um, Scorpio, is that you may realize that the relationship wasn't really a good one to begin with. Because I'm seeing, like, I'm looking even at the challenge card to gain more understanding of the situation. And the Queen of Pentacles as a challenging um, uh, position could indicate some sort of, what would I call it, materialism, over-materialism, that... A materialistic attitude perhaps you or the other person not having the ability to um, view your life in a more spiritual way it can indicate that um, there is financial problems due to some sort of um, problems with managing money. So that was the other thing that I wanted to talk about with that Six of Pentacles, that perhaps there is some argument between you and your partner over how to handle money. Uh, when I did my last set of readings on love, which you can find on my site, um, I just did it last week. So it's for November and December. It was for people who were in relationships and dealing with um, possibly leaving the relationship or maybe you've already left and you want to get back together. But in those, relation in those readings, I noted that money issues tend to be one of the biggest uh, causes for people to break up even. That's how I feel because it's not just a question of one person having to support the family and being resentful. It could be a, a, a situation where both make plenty of money, but there's uh, wastefulness, there's uh, overspending. And this could be that, that kind of um, need to buy the latest thing and then you don't have anything left over. And, and it really bothers the Scorpio person because Scorpios do not like to, to waste money. And um, you may be with somebody who's very materialistic and they want to show off what they have. And um, maybe they want you to foot the bill while they're doing it. Now, the the... Tower card uh, in the spiritual position usually is like a philosophical thing. 
But if we look at it as, even if it's a spiritual card, that it's some kind of a turning point in the relationship, it could be that you find something out that the person has been possibly um, wasting money on uh, both of your behalf that you didn't know about. Maybe they were hiding it. And um, that that could be like a shock to your system. And um, yeah, because even what we have here that could be coming in is the moon card representing this deception that someone is um, keeping some secrets from you. And I'm trying to think about... Hmm... Well, yeah, that's that's true because um, I'm trying to think about Gemini. Yeah, Gemini is your eighth house. You're going to have a full moon in your eighth house on December 3rd. And the eighth house is other people's money. So <laughs> that could be the time when a spotlight goes on what has been happening possibly behind your back. Now... Scorpio, this is not a very romantic reading. I'm talking about uh, money management. You probably, some of you are probably like, what? Um, if this does not, if this does not seem to be anything that resonates with you, or if you are somebody who is single, um, it's possible that you were involved with somebody who has a strong Libra um, vibe to them. Either they have their sun in Libra, Libra is their rising sign, and, and they are very physically attractive and um, elegant, let's say. And now you are with an earth sign. So Taurus is your opposite sign, that's always the usual suspect, but Virgo and Capricorn are also earth signs. So you might have been with a Libra and now are with an earth sign and are not a happy camper. And uh, the tower card could mean that there's something that makes you aware of this, that kind of out of the blue. Either that or you fall in love with somebody else out of the blue. And it's interesting because this person who is the earth sign, this could be a, a problematic person for you. That's why it's in the challenged position. And um, you will discover maybe secrets will come out or you, as advice the, the moon cards is talking about don't deceive yourself don't allow yourself to be deceived the outcome is the magician now it's num it's the card number one so you can see that the energy around the mag magician is about self-reliance and this is how the magician co-creates the reality. They start with wherever they are and they make use of whatever it is that they have. And what does that have to do with love? Well, a lot of times people have grandiose ideas about who would be the perfect person for them. And sometimes it might be right under your nose. It might be somebody who you think of as a friend. Maybe you've been involved with people who are not really authentic. And that's, you know, when I think of people who are spendthrifts, I think about people who try to spend money in order to impress other people. And that type of person typically does not appeal to Scorpio because you're the sign, you're a sign where you don't care what people think of you. And I don't think you would respect anybody who isn't like that, who, who's insecure and who tries to use um, money to make themselves look better. And But the magician card could simply mean that you are very self-reliant right now. And even if you are involved with somebody and you end up breaking it off, that you're not going to feel the sense of, oh my God, what have I done? Or I can't 
be alone. The magician is self-empowered. And so there's a strength behind the magician. Because the, the number one is about independence. And um, this may be, I mean, in some cases, this could be a long-term relationship that you have kind of suffered silently. And now it's time to start anew. So I hope some of that resonated with you, Scorpio. And I wish you a wonderful December. Take care. Bye.